Hi, I'm Joe Sapinski, Field Application Engineer for Microchip. This short video will demonstrate the features of the Capacitive Touch Overhead Console. Our goal was to design an automotive Capacitive Touch demo that had contoured surfaces and true dimmable backlighting. We also included additional features such as three different types of button styles, which include concave, depressed, and flush. The following list of items were also added. An indicator to each button except for the map lights, an audio tone every time a button is pressed, two map lights and a delay timer to theater dim the map lights, RGB backlighting, and finally we added CAN and LIN communications. We have four LED drivers, one for the red portion of the RGB LED, one for blue, one for green, and we have a fourth LED driver for the amber indicators. We have a switching power supply to supply the current for the LEDs, and we have a linear power supply to supply the current to the microcontroller, CAN, and LIN transceiver circuits. We have a piezo on the circuit board for the audio tone. We have a crystal on the board uh, because we have CAN communications. We have transient protection MOVs on the battery line and on the CAN uh, high and low lines. And at the bottom of the circuit, not shown behind the plastic, we have two MOSFETs and two transistor circuits controlling the map lights. Finally, in the middle is our low cost, low power, PIC 18F 66K80 microcontroller. Now let's demo the console. The top two rows have latched indicators. Press once to turn on the indicator, press again to turn off the indicator. The third row has momentary indicators. The indicator only lights when I touch the button. This, this button controls the backlighting intensity. Uh, every time I press this button, the backlighting intensity dims down and then cycles back to the beginning. For this demo, there are only four levels of dimming, uh, but in software we can get higher resolution. This button controls the backlighting color. Every time it is pressed, we cycle through seven different colors and then back to the beginning. The last button controls the off delay for the map lights. Uh, these two buttons control the left map light and the right map light. Uh, if the map lights are on and I press the off delay once, after 15 seconds, the map lights will dim down. If I were to press the off delay a second time, it would take 30 seconds before the map lights dim down. We will wait only 15 seconds for this demo. A PC GUI will be available to monitor sensor signals in real time and to modify the touch parameters. For more information, visit microchip.com/automotive.